Uh, let's check. Quite like a check raise on this board. Queen check four. Very easy to over limp stab it. Very easy to take all your age. Bet it. That's a bit of uh, overdoing it. You have to be fighting so hard against this uh, uh, check raise. Uh, now, of course, he has value as well, but we have outs. You know what I mean? And so if, if he clicks back or something, it's pretty bad. Uh, a club comes. Okay. Let's go for a little block bet here. Hola. Good luck to all. Limp stab him in bet on king nine five. Very easy to over limp stab this board. Goes for 1.5 on the turn, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to call. Could raise here for sure for value. Um, but we'll call uh, partly because I'm interested to see what kind of hands they tie up with. Ace comes. Definitely room to bluff a lot of their missed draws now at this point. So if they limp stab a 6-7, six, 7-8, seven, seven, eight, um, eight, six, spades, jack 10. Jack queen, queen ten. Um, they could have a king. Could have it. I mean, they could have a speed, but the one point five on the turn is pretty interesting. So like fifty percent, thirty something percent, and then two thirds. We'll find out. Very interesting river bet. Uh, very interesting. Uh, now, Denk Kata was the guy who limped the four two off on Blamey Blind. So I don't know. We thought they wouldn't be that aggressive, but we also know they're capable of v pipping quite wide. So I wondered if they might ISO wide as well. Um, I might go for a check raise on this board. It didn't work. So we'll go for two nice clean bets of value. I'm going to actually go for an over bet here. Get a fold. I think they're just going to call 9x two streets, 9x, 9x, bet, bet, for example. Spec says, is it difficult to get up to the higher levels of break back on party from starting? Um, just depends on how much you play, to be honest. So, uh, I ran some numbers, um, because obviously this is, I'm, I'm kind of like giving estimate rate back of 75%. Um, it would definitely be very possible to make more. If I was a full-time tens player, you can definitely make more. Uh, the guy who wins the leaderboards is probably achieving over 100% rate back at the threes and the fives for sure. So... Now, we know he limped, nine it off, and then triple barreled. Uh, and also now snap bets to 743. I'm going to have a little raise here just because we'll find out how strong they look. Okay. So we're going to have to, yeah, Wednesday is going to be the last ever high, high stakes, I guess. Or at least the last ever for the immediate future. Uh, so we'll have a big party on Wednesday, because then after that we're going to be playing hundreds, and that's going to be a little bit less interesting, maybe. Uh, I guess we might do some um, reg speeds or something. Uh, but yeah. No more 500 after this week. Okay. Um, I guess I might get my 500 graph out at the end of this week. We've been deliberately shielding it for reasons um so let's check we know all bet 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 kind of mergey slash also bluff weighted as well so definitely gonna call one here they check which is interesting um could go for a bet or something i'm not sure uh we have got equity you don't want to check fold let's just have a little bet so i'm min betting here because i want to kind of get called by worse um if possible um and then try and navigate rivers. So maybe check course and rivers is going to be an option. And if he's got A, he might fold anyway. You know what I mean? If he's got jack five there or something, it's pretty tough to do anything anyway. Uh, we'll try a limp with a 10-3 off. And I'm going to go ahead and bet this one. I don't know, but I kind of suspect all might. Um, it is possible that they just play, let's say, a little bit more straightforward uh, and raise a lot of the queenix and then we have a pretty easy bet fold and then if they call we have maybe a bit of an easier barrel with this hand um unblocking lots of future folds and of course we don't mind bet folding with complete air that's totally fine as well they go two one five x and like shoving's honestly a bit here uh, but i mean yeah <laughs> let's just shove let's just shove i'm a little bit worried two one five x folds oh, that's a noteworthy note all right let's check the 10 8 and then we'll check again Super Mercus is 105 or more. Yeah, so that, I mean, 
party are discontinuing them as of Friday. Uh, we're going slightly bigger here, actually, because pretty comfortable getting two streets from a seven. Uh, and still plenty of straight draws and stuff that can cool. Nine's a terrible card. Uh, hits a lot of uh, his continues. Jack nine, ten, nine, six, five, six, ten. Means he probably won't call a three or a seven or a ten, two anymore. We'll check and we'll probably end up just check folding. Uh, he definitely bets a nine X up this river. What bluffs could he have? Four, five, maybe, but probably C bets that. So I think he's got seven X, but um, he ace Jack. Okay. Icona, hello, hello, Icona. Uh, should we call here, by the way? We have got backdoor flush draw. We have got two overs. We have got some bluffing opportunities on the turns and rivers. Does he really go at thirty percent with an overpair here? I'm not so sure. Good card for us, you'd think. You'd think. Please don't shove. <laughs> Min bets. Um, going to go for a little raise here. Just with the intention of holding ace high, basically. So I think he might uh, sometimes use a size of like an ace king or something. Felt pretty unlikely to be over cards anyway. If he jams over this, this is horrible. But what would you really jam over this? Really jamming a 4x over this? After going one third on the pot and then min bet in the turn with your 4x. Good. I like it. Uh, I'm happy to get the fold there. And 2.5 to win 13.5 is fantastic for us. And again, we're not really worried what the theory is there. Because we're, 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 with extra information, we can perhaps more accurately range our opponent. And therefore, the new theory just... You can kind of constantly be updating it as you go along. And I think that's the best strategy we have against that range because we get folds. And weirdly enough, if we had a 4x, probably wouldn't take that. Um, but yeah, start to call it. Uh, and could go for like some donks and some turns, but not this one. Uh, do you think party discondition of five will be temporary? I suspect um, not temporary as in at least not for not for like a week it doesn't feel like to me uh we did see him go for this weird sort of 1.5 with second pair so i'm just gonna fold the six four we'll jump queen nine specs says do you think party is the best option for low table count laser focus regs play an ipod currently but reg back isn't very great i definitely think it's an option um there are pros and cons uh, to every site, and I think there is a very... Party offers quite good strengths for both guys if they're playing, uh, let's say, quite low table focused, or if they're quite keen on mass tabling, right? So I'm not a party rep, they don't pay me, they should. <laughs> but um, I think you can be very, very effective if you're um, playing in a low table count with quite good focus because especially with the lowest lower um binds you're still gonna hit the leaderboards so you're not gonna win the leaderboards obviously you need to play hundreds of games for that but even if you play 20 30 40 games a day just like one tabling two tabling just focused you can do that in like a couple of hours get somewhere mid table on the leaderboard and you make a ton of rate back right um even from mid table you probably make 30 percent from leaderboards plus whatever you make um um initially Obviously, if you're low table count, you're not going to get Diamond Club Elite or anything. But you probably are going to get something like 40% um, or whatever. And so you're still looking at like 70% or something. Which, if your chip V is pretty decent, playing 10s, 20s, 50s, I think can be very, very effective, right? Um, I don't know how that would compare to your GG, was it? I poker, Specky. But um, I think it's certainly something to think about, yeah. Uh, let's check. Quite like a check raise in this board. Queen Jack 4. Very easy to overlimp stab it. Very easy to take all your age. Bet it. That's a bit of uh, overdoing it. You have to be fighting so hard against this uh, uh, check raise. Uh, now, of course, he has value as well, but we have outs. You know what I mean? And so if, if he clicks back or something, it's pretty bad. Uh, a club comes. Okay. Let's go for a little block bet here. Keep some king 10, ace 10, king 9, ace king, whatever. We're going to bet, bet, shove. Um, if he shoves a jack, we're fine. We just fold it out of the way. Yes, we're folding equity. We're not folding tons. Um, now we shove, and I hope he hasn't got a jack. And I hope he's got 10, 9, king 9, king 10, etc., etc. Don't think he'll fold a queen, but he might fold eights, for example. That might be another hand he could have. 
is ace queen that's never really gonna fold probably actually a hand that should honestly be fighting back in terms of coming over the top of our uh, flop trick raise um but fair enough well played sir well played well played takes takes the money and a little bit of tank on the river which is good for us i think 